All right, guys, Model Rockets 321 here, back with another video. Today we are launching. We're going to be flying Phoenix Missile, hopefully Mars Lander, Aerotech Mustang, and the Starship Vega. And we're going to see how we go. Model Rockets 321, Phoenix Missile, F 44W. Everybody keep an eye on it. I see the orange parachute. There we go. Wow. See it? <laughs> so I'm gonna have a little walk. I can see he's drifting. I'm gonna be way out there. If anybody wanna join, welcome. <laughs> Woo! So there we have the Phoenix missile on an F-44. A great flight. I mean, it went way up there. It's kind of hanging up in the sky. This parachute's bigger. But now I'm getting this drifting around. It's just hanging in the air. Hopefully it don't come down on those bushes or nothing too crazy. But great launch. Great launch on that motor. Big parachute drifting, hanging. Nice flight. Nice flight. Drifted. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And touchdown of him. There we go. So here we go. The Phoenix missile. Did its thing on an F44. I'm gonna if the motor's still in there. Let's see. Oh yeah, he's still there. Great. No damage. Textbook. And we had an altimeter. We had an altimeter. It says 870 feet. Seemed a lot higher, but so there we go. So that's what it's all about right there. What do you think? It's fascinating, man. I, I, yeah. I saw the, I, once it left the launch pad or whatever that thing was, I completely yeah, lost sight of it. Oh yeah, you gotta really keep your eye on these. Yeah. That was, this was a faster, more special occasion when that motor F44 is a uh, composite motor. It's not a black powder base. Composite motors are made of the same materials that the solid rocket boosters are made of on the space shuttle. Two to fall back, if you're familiar with the shuttle. Same material, same, it burns the same. And this is just dumbed down like smaller stuff for the for the hobby. But I can see, oh that motor like a fin. Wow, that big old parachute and the fin still got loose. But great launch. Huh, great launch overall. Launch, huh? Yeah. So what constitutes an unstable launch other than not nose diving? Launch, yeah, nose diving into the ground, parachute not coming out. Okay, okay. Fire at the pad. Okay. <laughs> Any anything Fire. other than what you just saw, it's and anything other. Yeah, I'll take some points away for this if with this damage, because that's how they judge scale. You gotta have you gotta fly and land without damage, and then they, they score that stuff in points when you're competing and stuff. Uh... All right, guys, my Rock Three Two One here. So just recovered the Phoenix missile. Had another slightly broken fin. Sorry you guys missed the flight. I flew it on the F-44 as stated. It went really well, went super high. Great flight, great landing. Except this fin broke. It didn't land on this fin. This is so strange. Um, it landed on that fin right there, I believe. Took its time coming down on the um, with that nice big 24 and 36 inch parachute. Just don't understand that fin right there. And sorry I missed the flight. I had somebody else um, launching for me. I didn't have the camera started, so. Apologies, and we're gonna to get to the next launch. We're gonna be flying the Mustang, Aerotech Mustang on the F27-8. So this should zoom off the pad really good. All right, we're all set up. So let's do it. Yep. Nice. There we go. Blue parachute. I prefer the orange. You can see it better in the sky. That blue's hard to see. But I can see it. Nah, I think I'm still gonna have to go over there somewhere. Oh, this is easy to yes. That blue parachute, I might have to switch that out. Yeah, I might have to go get it. Same area. So there was the Mustang. Nice flight on the red line. 
smaller parachute. It's coming down a little faster. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Yeah, I love those um, Aerotech rockets are good, man. They make some solid stuff. Coming down, twisting around, nice. Nice flight of the Aerotech. So here we go, coming down, coming down. And here come the touchdown. Hopefully you guys can see that touchdown coming behind a little tree. And there you go. He's on the ground. I still got a little walk to go. So far, great day, great launch. All right, guys, here we go. Picking up the Aerotech Mustang. Great flight. Look at the motor trying to come out. Yeah, this thing ripped off the pad. Very nice flight, though. Get that out of here. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch. I'm going to be switching this blue parachute because that blue... It's hard to see against this blue sky, so this will be switched out to a bright orange and or green. I found out the neon greens are easy to see in a bright orange, red, anything like that against a blue sky. So don't do blue on a blue sky. It's hard to see. Model Rock 321. Alright guys, Model Rock 321 here. About to get the Mars lander back in the air after that repair you probably saw that in the last video also like share and subscribe to the channel if you like what we're bringing over here time to get the mars lander in the air all right, right parachute. one two three all right parachute there we go because that thing was turning over like, like taking Taking a little sweet time. Oh, we got sun. Whew. Sweet actually, that was nice. And landed. It stuck the landing. Yeah. Yeah, that was sweet. There we go. The Mars lander stuck the landing. Here we go. Hopefully you guys saw that it was in the. So there we had a Mars lander. Everything's good. All four legs are good. Successful launch. Successful launch. All right, Model Rocks 321 here, about to launch the Starship Vega. I so I have a B85 motor in here. This is a vintage motor. Um, I acquired this engine, and I'm taking a chance with it. I think it's going to be a good motor for it. I just hope it works since it's so old. Um, but we will see in a moment. Launching. Three, two, one. Ooh. Oh, after all those years, still good. Starship Vega coming home. I'm coming right down to you. Yep, coming on home. Coming, right down to you. coming down kind of fast. Hopefully everything stays put. Coming down fast. Sound like it hit kind of hard, but we'll see. Like For sure, yes. Starship Vega on a vintage B85 broke that leg. Broke the leg? Yeah, it did hit kind of hard, I thought. And I went with the in the uh, parachute size, the 12 inch they recommended. I went with that. Yeah, it made, made it go bigger to the 18. Yeah, it broke that. Oh, that's an easy fix, though. It ain't too bad. But you got a little damage there. It's all good. It's part of this. Easy fix. Easy fix. Model Rocks 321. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, y'all. Hit that like button while you're in here. Hit that like button. A little damage, we'll fix it. All right, guys, here we got the Falcon Commander vintage rocket about to get this one into the air on an A83 engine. This will be the first flight on this vintage one, so we're gonna go. All right, here we go. Power on, key in, ready launch. Three, two, one. A83, oh, it's kind of up there. There we go. Right down. Nice Come little, nice little drift. Nice. I may be able to catch this one. Yeah. 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 I'm down fast. I'm down fast. 
<laughs> there we go. I'm known to catch a rocket or two. I got a history of doing that. Former wide receiver. We ain't gonna talk about it. We ain't gonna talk about it though. We ain't gonna talk about it. We ain't gonna talk about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bottle Rockets 321. That's how you do it. That's how you catch a rocket. The Falcon Commander went good. Great flight on the 883. That was another vintage engine I came across. The vintage one seemed to work. They weren't weather cycled as it's called. If you store your motors, don't get them hot, don't get them cold. Try to keep them in the same temperature all year since you get them. So, I'll rock 321. Subscribe to the channel, like the channel. All right, y'all. Peace. All right, as you just saw, it's a pretty nice day for launching. Um, everything went overall, it went well. Phoenix missile had a little damage to this bottom fin, which is kind of strange to me. First of, first of all, before I get to that, my apologies for missing the flight of this on the F-44 motor. It was really a great flight. I was trying to get my friend to do something because that's my launching for me while I was filming, and I made a mistake and hit the off record button right before the launch happened, so we missed that one. But everything went great with this. I put a bigger parachute, a 36 inch nylon. It drifted down really slow but I still got damage to this fin. It's still attached and it cracked. And um, the reason I'm thinking, I think pressure is what broke it. Cause I saw this rocket kind of do a curve, like a real hard curve. And I wonder if stress and pressure, maybe from the wind or something, caused that to just snap apart like that. Cause it was coming down really slow and there's no reason I think that it would have broke on landing because I did line all the fins with epoxy and it broke at the weakest point where my epoxy got really thin right here and it didn't land on this one this one had no dirt and the other one that it did land on had some dirt so that remains a mystery so that was the first flight of the phoenix missile overall great launch on the f-44 which i have right there here's all the casings from today um launched the a83 this is not the order a83 a b85 c53 f-44 and an f-27 8 um had fun it was a, a very fun day and after the phoenix i launched the aerotech mustang which is always a great flyer these kits are made really well they don't need recovery wadding because they have very little baffle system usually like the steel wool material and that went on the 29 millimeter f27 red line motor so another just a great flight great flight and after that i went to the mars lander on the c53 the SDs, they call them a Super C engines. Um, this one flew great. It flew great, as you saw in the video. Nice recovery, it stuck, stuck the landing, the repairs I made to it. Um, it, it held up, it's good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Getting some stuff falling, oh, stuff falling. That's the uh, Vega falling. Now we'll talk about the Vega in just a second. It has to, we're gonna let it lay down right there. But overall, everything went great. Um, the repair went well. Got in there, fixed the landing gear, that little rubber piece as you saw in the previous video. If you didn't, that video was on this channel. Um, I had to do a repair on there. And uh, subscribe to the channel while you're at it. So moving on, right after the Mars lander, I went to the Vega. We're gonna talk about the Vega right now. And as you saw, I had damage. This is the broken land, the leg. It landed kind of hard. It was coming down really fast. I went with the 12 inch parachute that the instructions um, called for, that the original kit came with. I should have used better judgment and I should have went to a bigger parachute, which I'm gonna be switching out and I will, will be flying this again. I'm gonna probably go with an 18 or a 24 because I want this to come down slow so it can land on these legs or if it's gonna land sideways, I don't want them to break on that hard desert soil. So overall, it's a great flight for this rocket. Went up on the B85. This is a vintage, vintage engine. Like they don't even make those anymore. Um, I'm so glad that it, it worked because I was a little nervous. I was wondering with the age of them, would it even work? But they all work, especially the BA-5. So it went well, had a little damage to the uh, to the Vega, but we will get this fixed. That's an easy fix, easy to glue, glue it back on. It shouldn't be any problem. Next up, we have the Falcon Commander. Great, great flight on the A-83, really straight, really true. This was the final launch of the day, vintage rocket. Little, it's yellowing, but it's still great. It's just a great rocket, great design. Um, went in the air, pretty straight, came down, close, close to the pad. I was able to catch it, and that was the end of the day. This is the last one, and with it, I ended it with a catch, which is pretty cool. So, didn't even touch the ground because these I was a little worried about these little fin tips. 
I didn't want those to um, break off, but it was close enough. I figured, you know, save it from hitting the ground. I'll catch it. Only catch it if you're very careful because you can break something further on a rocket if you're not, um, if you're not familiar with catching one. I've caught several rockets over the years, and this is just another one to that. I lost count a long time ago, but anyway, Model Rocks 321 here. Like and subscribe to the channel for more videos. We'll be back with more launches, more builds, and just more content for you. So, like, subscribe, and comment below. Alright guys, have a great day.